that's a shame. The baby was born with poop in its pants. <laughs> no wonder it's so upset. Hey guys, it's Sims Australia and welcome back to a brand new series on my channel. So this is basically, you guys will have seen it loads before, this is the BitLife Controls My Sim challenge, series, whatever you want to call it. So basically, BitLife is a life simulation game that you can get on your phones, on your iPads, on tablets, that kind of thing. And it's all text-based, mostly. We have started off with this character here, Amelia Thomas. So we're an infant, we're zero years old just now. We have literally just been born in BitLife and our mother is called Honey Thomas. Okay, so she is this cute blonde sim that you can see in front of us. So we have a full relationship with our mum just now. She also is apparently quite religious. She is super generous and she has some money, not a lot. Like she's not rich and she's not poor either. She's also only 18 years old. So the sim that we have in front of us is a young adult because of that. She's only high school educated and she's unemployed just now. So you'll be able to see that in The Sims as well. Honey does not jo have a job. Beyond that, we were born in Portland, United States. So The Sim is actually in Brindleton Bay. I looked on The Sims wiki and apparently Brindleton Bay is based off of New England, that kind of styling in the US and Portland is one of the biggest cities in there. So that's Portland, Oregon. So we are a Sagittarius, not that that really plays into The Sims 4 because they didn't add any star signs or anything like that. Our mother is Honey and our father is Unknown. And it does say that there's something off about our mother lately, but <laughs> that's just because I went into BitLife and I changed our mother's relationship. Um, our mother's appearance so that she's got like the blonde hair and everything like that. Okay, so our stats, we have 68% happiness, 94% health. So we're like, <laughs> we're a little bit happy. We are super healthy though. We're really quite smart as well and we're kind of pretty. We're not like a model. We're not gorgeous, but we're, we're pretty enough. Okay, so I am going to press play and have Honey go into labour so that we can actually have Amelia be born. Okay, so Honey uh, has just gone into labour and as usual she's pretty uncomfortable. I think that we could go and have the baby at the hospital and we'll join, we'll go with her. So I am really excited to be starting this series. I was super inspired by actually the series by Lexi Rue Gaming. She has two series of BitLife Controls My Sims and she also does a whole bunch of BitLife challenges. And I will of course link her series down below in the comment section as well. Look at her. <laughs> so she has a whole bunch of CC on and she has a crop top and some jeans on <laughs> and it just looks so silly with her pregnant belly. And she's apparently going to go use the the doctor's computer and that's just not happening. Uh, so we can check in at the front desk. Is this going to be? This is our nurse, Dorian Campbell. Did we even check in? I don't even know if we actually, if it let us check in if we went up and did it. Please go. Okay. Nope, it's not letting us check in. Can we have our baby? Nope. So <laughs> what is even, what is happening? Why can't we even check in? Please let me have my baby. We're at the hospital and it's not letting us. Okay. Yeah, no wonder he's angry. Oh, okay. Okay, it's decided that we're a patient now. Are, are we going to do anything? I would like to have the baby, please. Is this our doctor? Joanna Thompson. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully things go smoothly. I don't know. I've never actually seen a 
giving birth in the sim go badly, but I wouldn't put it past me and my luck for that to happen today of all days. This actually reminds me, like, this machine here looks really, really similar to, like, the operating machines in Star Trek. I don't know. It just, it reminded me of it. I don't see the need for a C-section, though, which I'm assuming that is. They took a love heart out of us. Now they're putting things in. <laughs> what is happening to us? Okay. Have we fallen asleep? I feel like something should be happening and nothing is. Okay. Okay. Honey just gave birth to a baby girl who needs a name. Okay. So this will be Amelia Thomas. And she's upset already. Did she was she born with a dirty diaper? <laughs> How can That's a shame. The baby was born with poop in its pants. <laughs> no wonder it's so upset. Okay, so about Honey, because her traits just kind of popped up a little bit. Her aspiration is super parent. This whole Let's Play is all going to be about Honey. Well, it's not. It's all going to be about Amelia. So basically, Honey's life is going to revolve around Amelia just a little bit. So she wants to be a super parent. She wants to look after Amelia to the best of her abilities. Beyond that, she is family oriented, of course. Domestic she gets from her aspiration. She's outgoing because I kind of imagine her being like really popular in school. And then, you know, she had a one night stand and now she has Amelia. And also she is creative. I decided to put that in there because... Basically, Honey is going to be unemployed until BitLife decides otherwise. So we need some way for this sim to make money so that Amelia doesn't starve. So that's, she's creative, she's going to do some painting, that kind of thing, to get a little bit of an income flow. Okay, but for now we're going to send her home because Amelia has literally just been born and has been shipped off to daycare with a dirty nappy. So a little bit about the world that we're living in, the house and everything like that, that is all part of the Simlessy save, save file. So she went in and she renovated everything. This house came unfurnished and I have done all the furniture and everything like that for this little family. So I made Amelia's room and I don't know, I really like it. I think it's quite cute. She has her toddler bed ready for when we inevitably age her up. There's like a little seating area so that Honey can sit and read to her. There's obviously the bear chair. And she had to have a pet teddy because we are in Brindleton Bay, so it just made sense to me. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to take care of her. Clearly they changed her nappy or her diaper while she was at daycare. So we'll give her a cuddle and we'll coo at her and we'll talk to her a little bit. Just do the good old regular parenting stuff. We have a headache though. So I do actually have Slice of Life installed. So that comes with lots of different things. So she's obviously got an illness <laughs> because of that. Um, so we'll take some medicine which should alleviate her symptoms. And also, they get acne really, really easy with this mod. So I'm going to put her on daily treatments <laughs> because I don't want her to be constantly covered with acne. It makes them, like, sad and embarrassed. Wait, why did, why did we fall out? We need to have a good relationship, though, because in BitLife, they have, like, an amazing relationship. Okay, I need to get, I'll get the relationship up and then we are going to age Amelia up. Well, in bit life anyway, we can do that just now. Okay, so we are one years old and our mother started a new position as a receptionist for 
Fidelity Dynamics. Okay. So, <laughs> all that that I was saying about her painting and everything, I guess that can be a hobby because she's got to get a job now. Which is good. I mean, at least we know that we're going to have a steady income. I'm also going to change her money. She's got some, so I'll put it down to like 6,000. Okay, I don't know. So she's a receptionist. So I'm not sure what we should go for. That's not freelance. Process server. An activist. It's a weird one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe it could be just business. She's not an engineer. She's definitely not an engineer. She's not a teacher. I think business is probably the best tech, the, the best bet. I mean, it's a mailroom technician. But I don't see anything else that fits as well. Yeah, okay. She'll go into the business career. So congratulations, honey just got a new job. Your baby is crying, please go feed her. We'll breastfeed. She's still really young, so it's best to breastfeed. So that is all that happened, really. I think her happiness went up a little bit, but nothing else happened. We're still too young, we're one years old, so we can't actually do anything about anything to do with her. So I guess we'll just age her up again. I think at three years old, we'll age her up into a toddler. Oh, a welcome wagon for the neighborhood. Okay, well that gives us something to do. Who is it? Who's part of the welcome wagon? Who are you? We can give a funny introduction. Why can't I see who she is? Okay then. Okay, leave, leave the crib. The baby's happy now. And she's crying again. This is going badly. Why is she such a sad baby? She already has another dirty diaper. Now she's doing the opposite, like stop talking, your baby is crying. Please go take care of her. Oh wait, I have a th I think that bookshelf might be blocking the door. I was wondering, like, why is she going through her own room to get into the baby's room? Okay, bye bookshelf. Very sorry. Okay. Baby should be happy now. Go speak to your neighbours. <laughs> or neighbour. One. Singular. Can we, before she leaves, can we like make her like us? Or no. No, apparently not. Just ask her about her day and she'll reply, Oh, I just, I went to visit my new neighbour and they were super rude and they abandoned us outside in the cold. Even though it's summer and it's a boiling hot day. Brighten her day, tell her that we're really, really sorry that that happened. We can't imagine what monster would possibly do that to you. Could get to know her a little bit. Gossip, say, you know, who was, who was that neighbour? I just, I can't imagine. Why, why would they ever do such a thing? Couldn't possibly be anybody that looks like us. Not a blonde 18 year old. No, not, <laughs> no, of course not. Okay, so our needs are getting low so I am going to make honey have some dinner and then in the meantime she can have a, gar a garden salad. While she's doing that I am going to age up Amelia. Okay <laughs> all right so a little girl named Jessalyn wants to become your friend so that is Jessalyn Colbert. So we can become friends with her, sure. And a lack of precipitation in Iraq has led to drought in several regions, causing widespread panic. Excellent. Okay, so this is a girl called Jessalyn, age three. 
So I will probably, once we have aged Amelia up into a toddler, I will make Jessalyn and I'll add her into this game and just insert her in somewhere. There's like not a lot we can actually do with Amelia just now while she's an infant. Like we can't do anything with her in bit life. I mean she can't even like talk to her mum or anything like that. So I'll fast forward to the next sim day and then I'll have Honey age her up. And then we can like get things moving from there. Okay, so overnight, just by dealing with Amelia's needs and like changing her diaper and everything like that, Honey got three level three parenting skills. She also does have base skills as well. So she has charisma because again, I thought that she was quite a popular kid in school. That cooking she got from cooking her meal last night. She has some fitness as well, some base painting. And I gave her some wellness as well because she's like, she's quite a fit sim. I think that maybe, <laughs> I think maybe that she could have been a cheerleader. I mean, obviously in the survey that the Sims team put out, they asked if cheer and everything is something that we'd be interested in, which definitely, but we don't have that just now. So I can't actually have made her be a cheerleader, but you know, head cannon. I think that she was a cheerleader, so she has some fitness, some wellness, and a little bit of painting because that will be her hobby. But it is now day two, and we are going to age up Amelia, and we will do it in bit life as well. Okay. Oh. Okay. So toddlers, day spent playing with toys, exploring the world and learning to communicate with words instead of tears away. This is the perfect time to start skill building for the future. Okay, we also got a notification on BitLife as well. So pretending to do things is a lot of fun, but you're not sure which activity is the most fun to, is the most fun. So what will we choose? Um, Talking on the phone, cooking food, driving a car or playing house. I don't know. And I don't actually know what any of them will actually, like, if they'll have an impact or anything like that. So I might pick surprise me and then maybe let that influence which trait Amelia gets. So, driving a car. I decided that pretending to drive a car was the most fun thing to do. And Mother Nature moved her body in a dangerous cy cyclone through Australia. Dente. <laughs> 10 deaths have been confirmed. Okay, so that's a bit sad, but we decided that pretending to drive a car is the most fun to do. So what could that be? Could that be silly? They are goofy and curious. They love to tell jokes and be playful. They earn imagination skills faster. Maybe inquisitive, so they're curious. They gain thinking skills faster. We are really quite smart as well. Uh, but they get sad if they haven't learned anything lately. So I think it's definitely either silly or inquisitive. And I'm probably going to go with inquisitive. Like driving a car would obviously be something advanced for Amelia to want to do. So yeah, okay. We're going to go with inquisitive. She's thinking a lot and she's pretending that she is doing something that maybe she's seen her mum do. So she's like imitating and that is quite an inquisitive thing to do. Plus she is a really smart sim character. Okay, so she's in she's inquisitive. And we do also need to change her appearance because she has brown hair in bit life. Look at her, she's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, is she she's like learning to walk already. Also, there's like loads of animals on her walls and everything because again, we're we're in Brindleton Bay. We're teaching her to walk. She's just aged up, and we're teaching her to walk. Okay, we do need to let her. This is not what she looks like, guys. Don't get attached. We need to let her go and plan outfits. Walk yourself over. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. 
So we should actually have brown hair. The fringe actually works really, really well, but definitely brown hair. Should she have longer hair? I don't know. I think, oh, no, that's clearly broken CC. So not that one. I'm going to limit it to cu custom content because I <laughs> just, I really like my CC. That's quite cute. So is that. That's really long, but she has shorter hair. So I think it's got to be this one. Because it's short and it's got the fringe as well. So she actually was born with the right hair. What about her eyebrows? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they're cute. Yeah, I don't have I don't have custom eyebrows for kids, I'm sorry. Oh, the animal tops are really cute though, the pug top. Again, because what town are we in? <laughs> I'm not gonna be quiet about that, I'm so sorry. I think the one with the bumblebee's cute. Should we actually have her in ripped jeans right from the start? Is she gonna be a little trendsetter? Should we have her in something a bit I don't know, like Girlier? Ooh. Oh, that's cute. That dress is really nice as well. I don't have loads of CC for toddlers. I'm so unprepared. Even though I spent like a really long time trying to get CC together. I like that dress. Oh, they're mismatched. I totally, I couldn't stand that though. That would drive me insane. Oh, we could have her in wellies. No, they look funny. <laughs> they are really cute. Okay, I'm, ha I'm gonna have her go for like, maybe the trainers? Okay, she's wearing trainers. Um, This is her formal. Um, Oh, that's cute. That's really formal though. Oh, I like that. Oh. Look at the lemons. Okay, I'm set. <laughs> That's that decided. Why can't there be like nice white ones? That's disappointing. Okay, her pajamas. I really, I know that it's obviously not CC and therefore boring, but I really like the onesies. Yeah, okay, she's a cat. She's a cat, guys. She's got a cat onesie. <laughs> okay, so this is our everyday wear. Oh. And we also put on this cute little outfit for her party wear. We gave her a cute little swimsuit. And then we have her hot weather wear and her cold weather wear. So that is Amelia Thomas. And she is adorable and I'm so happy. So now that Amelia is a toddler, we really need to focus on getting her skills up. So I'll probably wait until she's got some skills at level two before we put her up to age four. And when she's age, I think it's six, they can start elementary school or primary school, but she's in the US, so it should be elementary school, I think. Um, and at that point, that is when we'll age her up into a child. So do we actually have anything outside for her? We could maybe get like a ball pit or something like that. We've got like this nice little garden patch here. Or maybe one of the slides. Just something that she can actually play with. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to ruin the beautiful landscaping. Thank you. Okay. So there's a kiddie pool. Or, I don't think she can actually use a swing set yet. Okay, so this is like the toddler safety thing. So that's the toddler safety slide. So we'll put some toys together for her outside so that she can actually, you know, she can play and she can have some fun outside. We're not buying a jungle gym. We, do, <laughs> we don't have that much money. Uh, oh my, that is huge. I don't think so. Okay, so we have a slide and we have a kiddie pool. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
let's go and climb. We'll go down here and we'll keep our company. Can Amelia get down the stairs? No. Okay, so we're going to need to lift her. Okay, pick her up. I mean, technically, this little girl was born like a day ago. And I'm expecting her to just walk down the stairs. That's not happening. Um, help Amelia claim. Oh, that's cute. I didn't even realise. <laughs> that's so cute that she can actually help her and she can play with her. Look at them. Oh. You go, Amelia. Your mother's literally starving, but honestly, honey, you just, you work on that motor skill. Oh. Keep helping her climb. Just keep on helping her. That, like, got none up at all. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. She needs to change outfits. And she needs to get into her hot weather wear. I do not want this baby dying on me already. I am not prepared for that to happen. Asked to go in kiddie pool. Oh. Okay, so she got her communication skill up okay. I'm actually in love with this little girl. She's so cute. Guys, I have never loved a Sims toddler more than I do this child. And look at this thing, it's like spraying cool water out over her. And yet it's functional off the grid. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's be done with kiddie pool. Hug lovingly. She's so cute. Do they have any more skills? Oh, they'll have thinking. She'll have thinking skill. We're actually also going to need to get a high chair so that she can eat. <laughs> okay, so Amelia is not hungry, but Honey is absolutely starving. So we're going to put Amelia in the high chair just so that we can keep an eye on her while we make herself something to eat. We'll probably give her like a nice cool drink or something like that after she's been out in the pool. We'll give her a drink. Just give her some water. So that she can rehydrate. Okay, we're looking absolutely insane over there. <laughs> um, We'll just have another salad again. Since it's such a hot day out. Oh no, she made a mess. Would you at least go and stay over? Like, go and sit over there with her. Where is your food? Why are these things here? Oh no, don't tell me that there's like nowhere that she can cook anything. Have I completely... Oh, I have. I've messed that up. I think that's like stuck there. She should be able to cook on that. Oh no, Amelia's really upset. Can we talk to her? Yay, there we go. <laughs> she just needed someone to talk to her. Toddler care, so... We're not going to read her to sleep or anything like that. Are we letting her out? Yeah. I don't know, I just like the idea of her sitting so that we can take care of her. 
what is going on? Right, please eat your food. Eat your garden salad. Okay, and we are going to go over here. Since she's not actually able to climb stairs or anything like that, I'm going to buy her some toys for downstairs. She needs something down here to keep her occupied. We have like a little gap over here. We are quickly running out of money by the way. <laughs> we spent so much on this little girl but she deserves it. She's absolutely adorable. We'll play with Chompy. Let's have her play with something. Oh, she's just walking about. Okay. All of that walking really should be getting her movement skill up. Oh, she's got potty skill as well. Her, her potty chair is upstairs though. Look, new baby. She, <laughs> she only had her like 26 hours ago and now we have this really large baby right here. This little toddler. Uh, no, we're not having Katerina over just now. We've not spent that long with Amelia. Okay, let's clean that up. Amelia's needs are still doing okay. I think we'll start, like, teaching her to do things, though. So, teach to say please and thank you, I guess. Maybe. Oh, why is she at... Oh, she's feeling insecure. Don't. You're the most beautiful baby to ever have babied. You do need to stop playing with Chompy though so that your mum can teach you to do things. Can we just teach her to do anything else though? We can praise her for being so good with her toys. Even though she did actually make a huge mess. She's adorable. She's telling us a story. <laughs> Honey's like, uh, sure, that makes total sense. Oh. I am so in love with this baby, guys. Well, Honey sounds more enthusiastic about that one. So we need to, yeah, don't, you're not going for a bath. Okay, I know you're smelly, but this is what being a mother is about. You need to feed your child and you can have a bath later. You can sit down and you can talk to your gorgeous daughter in the meantime. Or we can hover and watch. I guess. <laughs> so we waited until we were absolutely filthy and then decided that we deal with things. Okay, clean up. What's happening? Oh no. Oh no, did Amelia do the toilet? No, she's going to go splash in the toilet. I feel like she's done the toilet somewhere though because she's doesn't need the toilet. <laughs> but she's not smelly, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Okay, honey, you can't take a bath. You need to put Amelia to her bed. Yeah, read her a story so that she falls asleep. Even though you're literally covered in dirt. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, can we get her into trouble for that? I feel like we need to do something. Toddler care. No. Discipline recent behaviour. Calmly ask her not to splash in the toilet. <laughs> oh good, it helped. Okay. Amelia, please let your mother use the toilet. <laughs> Look at her just wandering about. Okay, 
Now we need to read her a toddler book to sleep. Please. Oh, Amelia's got the thinking skill. There are loads of skills for toddlers. So thinking skills will help her throw, th uh, throw fewer tantrums and stuff like that. And she can play with flashcards, nesting blocks, or the tablet. Okay, we'll need to get her some of them because she is an inquisitive little girl. Oh, guys. Wait, what, what, what? Why aren't you reading the story? I'm not entirely sure what's happening right now. No. Read Amelia to sleep, please. There we go. And that's her imagination skill up to level two. Okay. Honey is going to finally get some sleep after a very long first full day as a parent. And tomorrow morning, I think, and in the next episode, we will age Amelia up in bit life up until she is four years old. And we'll see what the game has in store for us then. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you actually like this and you want me to keep going with this series, then please let me know in the comments. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!